say to everybody, if you wet the blade before you use it, you actually get a smoother, cleaner glide. And the reason we say that is all the veg we're using is water-based. So water to water, it acts as a lubricant. Now I'm going to show you two ways to do an onion. Cut it in half, pop it in that way, and you actually get a perfectly diced onion. And the reason we say that is obviously, our blades are fixed in place this way and that way, the onion layer cuts that way for you. Take an onion, pop it in that way, you now end up with an onion stick, and the main reason why, think about it, we're now cutting with the layer. So for something like a stir fry, where you want more bite, you always get it. For the sake of a salsa, we just do that. Now girls, you can do a whole onion, whole potato, whole apple. You can't do a whole tomato at once. There's the one thing you have to always cut at least in half. And the reason we say that is, where we're applying pressure, if that was fully skinned, it would naturally burst exactly. Have the meat face the blade, however, it gives it something to bite into. And ladies, listen, have a look at how it cuts that. It doesn't squash it. Well, that's the part you're looking for, let's face it. Now, peppers are quite simple. Take off the tail, work your way around the wall. Uh, skin side up, meat side down, literally just lean into it. I'm gonna show you guys two ways to do a cucumber. If you get a nice big piece like that, uh, and just go down the top of it, however thick or thin you pop them in on top, is how thick or thin they come out below, but diced. If you're looking to do a cucumber stick, take a larger piece at a slight angle, and that way, you now get a lovely cucumber stick. And if you're thinking of a salsa, girls, watch this. That took us about 40 seconds. How long does it take you at home? And that's the point. We'll literally save you hours every week. Now, have you ever julienne the carrot? You know it's a hard job. Watch this. Take off the stalk. Get the length of stick you're looking for. And the reason I want to show you, it's the angle that we're putting it at. But look at the lid and the carrot over there. They flat to each other. You see that? That way, when I put it through, it holds it in place. But there's your perfect carrot sticks. If you want to do skinny French fries for the kids, don't forget with potatoes, they tend to wobble about. So at its long point, bump it into the blade so it can't roll around. When you push through, you end up with a perfectly cut skinny French fry. And if you prefer a thick cut chip, just change the blade. So you pull that blade out, you pop the big blade in, and all we're doing this time around is changing the size of the cut. Now when we put a potato through it, ladies, we end up with a lovely chunk feature. Um, sorry? Oh, I like her. She's straight in there. Hey, so you can buy them on the website. Uh, you can actually buy them on the shopping channel.